Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play the well-known tune Gentle on My Mind, which is associated with John Hartford and Glenn Campbell and been covered by countless people. But it's just a really cool tune, so today I'm going to show you how to play it. So this song, most of it revolves around the same chord progression. It varies just slightly, so I'll go ahead and play what I'm going to be showing you, and then I'll move the camera closer and show you how to do it. I'm playing this out of open G tuning. This song is often played in different keys, so to change keys you'll just have to put the capo wherever the key's at, but for the sake of teaching I'm just teaching it in open G. Alright, so this arrangement completely just uses the forward reverse roll, which is just 3, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1. So you'll use that one, and then also one that starts on 4, but it's the same roll, it just starts on 4, so that'd be 4, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, Okay, so you'll start using the one that starts on the 4th string, and as you hit it, you'll do a slide from the 4th to the 5th fret of the 4th string, and then you will hit the 3rd string after that, and then just proceed with the roll like normal, like this. And then you'll go straight up to the 4th fret, and do 4 and then 2, and then proceed like normal, so it sound like this. And then you'll do the exact same roll, but start on the second fret. Then you'll do the same roll again, but completely open. This is what it'll all sound like together. And after that, you will play an A minor chord, which is the second fret of the third string, first fret of the second string, and second fret of the first string. You'll do a forward reverse roll like you normally would. Then do the same roll, but start on the fourth string with a zero to two hammer on like this. Then this time the third string will be open. So I will play that part starting where you switch to the A minor chord. And then you'll do the A minor chord with the forward reverse roll two more times. Then you'll do it one more time. Exact same roll, but the fretting on the third string will switch to the first fret instead of the second fret. So it'll sound like this. And I usually just bar it up here because the third and second string are on both on the first fret. And then after that, it'll just be an open third string, and then these two fingers will still be down on the first and second frets. And then you'll do the forward reverse roll starting on the fourth string with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string and your index finger on the second fret of the first string. And then you'll play the same thing you played at the beginning. Do it again. time around you'll play a full forward reverse roll twice with no strings fretted starting on the third string then go back to the A minor chord like you did a few minutes ago and then start going down like you did And 
this time you'll go back to the A minor. Then you'll do the D chord, which is 2nd fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string, and 4th fret on the 1st string. And then you'll go back to that phrase you were using. And that is it for this, so I will go ahead and play it slowly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just such a great tune. I hope you have a good time with it, and I will see you next time.